Welcome back everyone, MTG Joe here, and we're continuing our budget build series on Mono Black Devotion for Theros Beyond Death Standard. Um, so for those of you who are new to the channel, um, what we do with these budget build series is take a deck or archetype and build three iterations of them. Uh, budget version considered for Arena, uh, being 10 rare mythic wild cards or less. Uh, this mid-budget one, we usually try to keep it around 20 uh, rare mythic wild cards. And then we do a fully built out, like fully tuned version as the third build. Afterwards, I do a full write up on aetherhub.com where I kind of highlight the thoughts, choices, stuff like that, give my consensus on uh, what I feel was, what worked out well, what didn't, and kind of take it from there. Um, so, Mono Black Devotion is the deck I've been playing offline. It is my preferred deck of this standard. I love Grey Merchant of Asphodel, Gary, as he's aforementioned, um, to kind of show I've ordered all the cards for the deck. I have it as my Pioneer deck, so I just got some cards for the standard version now. Um, so I'm Ride or Die Mono Black Devotion. Um, so we played the budget version yesterday, it was a 10 rare special. Uh, if you want to check that out as a starting point, it's up on YouTube right now. Um, but what we have here is we're adding 9 uh, cards to it, uh, so kind of highlight what we've added. Uh, if you want the full deck tech, stuff like that, there's also the budget version, but in essence what we're trying to do is build a board state uh, with a lot of pips or like swamp mana symbols in the costing cost and then when you cast Grey Merchant of Asphodel you get to drain your opponent of that much life and you gain that much uh, life back um, and you kind of build a board like that and then there's a lot of drain effects so you have like Cat Oven to drain, you have a Yara to drain, uh, a Yara and Midnight Reaper also provide card advantage uh, along with Castle Lockwain. So starting off here we added two more castles. Uh, if you have a fourth just add a fourth castle it's one of the best lands in standard. We have Cat Oven. Uh, so what we're adding is four of Knight of Eben Legion. Uh, this is a very powerful one mana threat. Uh, it scales to late game. You can push your extra mana in. The Death Touch lets it uh, trade with things. Um, and it can grow bigger just incidentally. Uh, so we cut the um, Lazatep Reverse. Uh, so the two mana create two, two dorks. Um, really like Tyre Med out of these. Uh, it's been really good as incidental uh, graveyard hate in the main board. Uh, so we kept the Fen Lurkers for now. Uh, and then we added a, f a fourth Murderous Rider. So that's one of the rare lands. And then in the main board, we just added. So it's four rares, two more here, five, six, seven. And then the two mythics we're adding in is Erebos Bleak Hearted. So this is a god. Uh, for those of you who haven't played with the gods yet, uh, they are enchantment creatures. Uh, so they're enchantments as long as your devotion to black is less than five. Uh, if it is more than five or more, it becomes a creature that's indestructible. It itself is always indestructible. Um, and then whenever another creature you control dies, you may pay two life. If you do, you draw a card. So it's a really good post a board wipe. You can pay a bunch of life. We're gaining a lot of life as we saw in the budget version. Um, and then we can draw that many cards. Uh, I actually haven't activated its other ability, but for two mana, you could sacrifice another creature you control and target creature gets minus 2-1. But really it's just a uh, reoccurring card advantage with the deck. You can sack to Yara, um, draw a card, draw a card. If you have Midnight Reaper, I was playing with my non-budget version and I went like four or five cards off like a single draw, just how it was set up. So it really helps you dig for the Grey Merchants. Uh, sideboard I kept the same right now. It is a rareless, mythic mythicless sideboard, but there's a lot of good utility cards here. Um, that can play out. Um, I think I keep everything. Actually, I'm going to cut one Underworld Dreams and go up one Drag to the Underworld. Felt like the targeted removal was pretty good and we needed it earlier in games. Uh, the meta has been pretty um, creature based um, as opposed to control. So, Arena's been kind of shoddy in terms of the connection right now. They're still running through some issues. Um, so I'm going to start best of one first just to make sure we have a connection okay and then I'll play a best of three game. So kind of inverting, I usually play both, uh, but we'll start from this point. So we'll play and get it going. Um, as we get loaded, a uh, quick kind of plug. If you are enjoying the content in terms of the budget build series, if there's other ones you want to see, do let me know in the YouTube comments. Um, if you are on YouTube catching this, uh, if you can, hit like on the on the video, drop a comment. If you aren't subscribed, if you can't subscribe, it's free and easy. All those really help the channel. They don't cost you anything. Uh, additionally, uh, if you are catching this on Twitch or you want to know when we go live on Twitch, the easiest way is to just draw, click the follow button. Uh, all these are ways to help out the channel uh, at absolutely no cost. 
If you are purchasing cards uh, from the new set and you're purchasing through TCG Player, I do have an affiliate link. Um, another way that you can help out the channel, you just click the link, follow through, and then it helps support. Um, so this is probably Mono White Devotion. Um, so I'm going to go Fenlurker here. Their graveyard's not really an issue. Just get a card out of their hand. Um, we don't have a clean way of dealing with the god uh, Heliod main board, and they do gain a lot of life. Okay, the double healer hawk draw. It's going to make racing a little difficult. We can dump our hand pretty quick and then get castle going. Okay, so they went full weenie. Because we can't block, let's see if they want to do a trade. If they wanted to double block to force, I would have done that. So looking for at least another castable spell, another land doesn't really help. The fact they're gaining two life each turn also helps the race. Now four life, yeah, so their clock's going to be pretty quick. And us drawing nothing but lands isn't really helping the equation. They currently have us on a t three turn clock, but any other threat, even, yeah, Pegasus closes it out next turn and formation. So they nine us. Yeah, this is just, they got us. Flyers are going to be a little weak for this deck. Um, they out aggressive us and their life gain where we didn't have it that game. But let's fire up another one. This is actually the first game I've lost with Mono Black Devotion between streamer event, the budget event, and what I played offline. Um, so Mono White apparently is the one to take it down. Uh, yeah, this, this is a curve. We're peak level magic players, so we also win the draw, eh, the die roll and play first. Temple could be a couple things. There's a teamer elementals deck with Thassa in like uh, steel effects, like steal your creatures. So basically you active treason, steal the creature, blink it with Thassa, get control of it. And you could keep blinking like Omnath as well to deal damage. Kenrith. Okay, so this is probably Fires. Um, because this is the Clarion turn, I'm actually not going to commit more to the board. We don't get any value, and we're presenting enough of a clock. If they Teferi here and bounce Knight... Yeah, so that was a good play from us. So I'm not going to play around the second Clarion. If they have it, they have it. Oh, they had it. Um, I just want to get threats out. Because if they didn't, we drain for 3, 4, 5, 6 that turn. Okay, they have Sarkin. Running into uh, the danger zone here. So, this being held back... Does give them some insurance. If they bounce, I'm gonna sack. So let's activate this first. 
and get rid of Fenlarker just to gain some life. I don't want to give him a card draw with the fairy. It also gets us uh, some more tokens here. We can gain some life. Castle's not bad. Okay, so we have Rider for next turn. Because next turn what we can do is Rider, take down the token. We might need to take down Sarkin. So this is a fires deck most likely, they just haven't drawn fires. So a sack of food here. So I can murderous rider, no we gotta take out Sarkin here. And just put out another threat. Great Merchant drains for six here. A Johnny will gain a little bunch of life. And they drew another Teferi. Neither of these threats are really ones you want to bounce. They make a Pride Mate token. Order Midnight's not bad. We get a Yara back. So we can attack both into... Nah, I think we just do this. Get a Yara back. Set up for uh, some draws the following turn. It also lets us drain a little bit more efficiently. Haven't drawn Erebos. Would have helped against those Clarions. This is a good matchup for Erebos, just uh, drawing a bunch of cards. That's fine. They will get two uses out of this. So two triggers, two life gains. Narset's actually a little awkward as well. She prevents us from drawing cards with Castle and Ayara on our main face. That's fine. So Johnny's are getting big. Give it one more draw, but we're pretty much dead. They want them not as hot as yesterday for this deck. This is our mid-budget version, but uh combination of very good draws from the opponents. Um, we got double clarion. So it kind of set our board back. Match one, we got Curb Stomp by Mono White, just going above with Flyers, yeah. Can't really do much here. I'm just gonna concede here. I can't draw cards because of this and they're pretty much got the board state. Yeah, we're, we're like a snowball deck. So if the opponent has answers, I'm just going to give Arena a quick reset and then we'll continue on. 
they've been having some server issues. We went night into Fenlarker, Sweep, and then Ayara into Night, Sweep, and then they pretty much Sarkined us out of the game. So, seems stable enough. Let's play a best of three version of the deck. Get some feel there. We can see the sideboarding. I can demo that for everyone. Gotta probably start playing some other decks too after this. I've just been like all mono black devotion. Oh, that sounds pretty sweet. Is it just like um, Thassa and then just a bunch of ETB stuff? Send me a list when you have a chance, Quantum. I got. I want to try out because I have the Banked Flicker deck, but I want to see what you've got for Esper. So of note, Witch's Cottage comes into play tapped right now, so I may just go Cat played and tapped. This might be another Fires deck, which actually. Okay, we could just attack here. Play out the cat. Ideally, if we can avoid a board wipe till Erebos comes down, it would be good. Thassa seems really strong, so it makes sense. And they got Clarion. So here. Hopefully they don't play Teferi, so we can Murderous Ride or something. Set up for Erebos next turn. Then I'll probably put Knight of Eben Legion back on top. Yeah, that's, that's an annoying one. Because we don't get the use of this this turn. And I can't play this out because of the down tick. So we'll see if they cycle. They might be missing a line drop. Okay, so if that's the case, then I will play Erebos. I want to get utility out of it. If they were just going to bounce it, it sets us back a turn. Oven's also nice. So I think here... I'm actually going to put Cat on top. Because then with Cat and Oven, I can start using it to draw multiple cards a turn. And that should draw us into like more threats to play. And then we still have another turn to deal with this Teferi. So they go Banishing Light. That's annoying. Let's just get this out of the way now. Pass the turn. Might just be hard Jeskai control with like Dream Trawler instead. Mono blocks only ways to get rid of enchantments. Okay, so it is a fire's deck. It's fine. Cavalier can just block.
Also, without Kenrith, they're not really gaining life. Hey. I'll take a look. Uh, why are you pulling up? Okay, so it's got Soren, Love Me a Soren deck, Charming Prince, Elite Vanguard, Bellhaunt, Kenrith. Looks sweet. How is Planar Cleansing in a creature based deck though? And Eat Extinction instead of Murderous Rider would be my only question. And then uh, I'd like Thassa's Intervention, so. Okay, so they got their fires, so their mana is open for future turns. Okay. I may go Time Wipe instead of uh, just because you get to reset your creatures. Um, so you can balance like your bell haunt and stuff. So this is actually an interesting turn what they decide to bounce. Hey Denny, how's it going? My guess is they bounce Erebos. That's a heads up play. Because now they get to deal with our other Erebos. So we're going to pay two life, draw an extra card, and then just bring the cat back in. Murderous Rider would be good because then we can attack down the Teferi. Second Cat Oven's actually not too shabby. So I'm going to do this first because I want to see if we draw cards. And we got Tyramet. So we'll just do this. Tyramet can gain us some life. And then we also have the Murderous Rider. Actually, that's good. Just force them here if they want to get rid of Teferi. Yeah, I'd maybe even go up to Soren. Soren's really good in those flicker decks, just getting back things. And then the lifelink could also be relevant. Might have been right to attack the opponent. Their life total is pretty low, but I want to get the fairy off just because it can keep bouncing our stuff. See if they want to attack in first or go with the Banishing Light play. Because we're in uh, Grey Merchant range, I'm. if they do this first, target Erebos, I'll sack the Familiar just to get the extra draw trigger. I'll take the damage this turn because Grey Merchant will drain him out of most of the other stuff. Whenever another creature you control. So let's just draw a card. This engine's been really good. Okay. Castle's not the worst from a grind perspective. Let's see what their follow up is. I don't think they can kill us just yet. Storm's Wrath. Sure. Let's see if they get. Hey, Pharma Like, how's it going? Thank you. 
I want him to attack so my cat can come and kill him. <laughs> Do it. Do it. I will trade a cat with your cavalier. Um, two expansions without playing. Uh, Throne of Eldraine. Adventure mechanic. Really cool. A lot of good cards. Um, they printed the most busted planeswalker ever. Every creature and every artifact for two months was an elk. This feels like a good trade for us. So we have a Yara here, and then I can draw a card, or I can Grey Merchant. Uh, so Yara is better with Cat, so I think what we do is we just Grey Merchant this turn. And then pass the turn. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, just There's a whole playlist. Um, towards the end, I stopped playing Oko decks. Nadir Kraken. Sure. And Guard Mage. They pay a mana, they make a tentacle dude. This is a weird variation of fires. So I'm gonna do this. Seems a little counterproductive, but we can drain him of a couple more points and then with a the Yara it doubles up. Actually, I'm gonna wait here because we get the extra trigger. Would also really enjoy stop drawing swamps. Okay, so I'll draw on my end step just because there's not much utility right now. And we drain him for two here. And just pass the turn. They can go pretty wide. I'm not too concerned at this point. We're out gaining them life. If they want a board wipe, it kills their stuff. Uh, if you do code play Theros, uh, all one word, it'll give you three packs. A fires deck with scry. This is just a weird deck. You can also try play Eldraine. If you miss that one, that code may still work. Okay, so the Cavalier here. So we're gonna drain him some more. Because I have the backup food to get it back into play afterwards. Yeah, they usually have like the Twitch uh, Prime ones too. So we got another point of damage. We really just need a card in hand. Uh, give me a sec, Dante. I'll uh, double check that one. Uh, let's open you up. Yara, Wrinkle. Yeah, this is it. Um, the sideboard's not fully confirmed yet because I've been playing it in best of one ranked um, but I really like this configuration as the main board. If we're running into more Clarion decks then I may need to put the discard main um, but as of right now I think it's okay. So we're just gonna draw a card here. Ooh, Rider's nice.
Sorry about that. Um, Arena has been kind of glitchy right now, so it cut out there. So we played Murderous Rider, got rid of the thing. Uh, this allows us to just bring back Cat three times and it kills the opponent. So that'll take them out there. And then we can go to sideboarding. So against the Fires deck, kind of like Underworld Dreams, um, Agonizing Remorse is good, the Deathless Knight. Do we want Noxious Grasp in this matchup? Gets to Fairy. We might just... So Order of Midnight's fine, Fenlurker's fine, the Discard's fine. I might get rid of Knight here. They have a lot of like dudes that just kind of gump things up. Uh, Underworld Dreams just is like burn damage for them. Uh, probably Order of Midnight's... They're going to be killing a lot of our stuff. So it can get stuff back. Or maybe just cut an Ayara as well. Like all these can give us card advantage. Which is what I want. The Murderous Riders are... You know what? Let's go down a Murderous Rider. And just play one uh, Drag to the Underworld. No, I don't think the life gain matters much. Uh, this is just a good recursive threat. Grey Merchant is life. Actually, Tyramet. Nah, I like keeping my density. Mm, I think it might be a Yara. It's kind of slow in this matchup. It's not that good versus Teferi. Let's run it like that. See how it goes. Yeah, there's a lot of like little things that just work really well together. Erebos, Cat Oven, Ayara, that, the Devotion Package. We're on the draw. I got Cat and Oven. We drew a one of Ayara. So I'm leading on the Oven. Um, in case they have Shock or something, I want to be able to protect it. What the hell do you do? <laughs> Scry 2. Choose a card. When you cast a card for the first time, draw 2. Look at the top card of each player's library. Okay. We shall see what this does. Okay, so we hit the land. We get there. Just want our land drops. I'm probably going to follow it up. If we draw our land, uh, playing the Midnight Reaper, it plays better against a board wipe initially. I wonder how consistent you actually get the use of the third chapter of drawing two cards. Like, do you just name something in your hand to get that value? And then how much information do you want to give? They've still used more claw? Drawn from dreams. Sure. So we just want to do incidental damage. That's how we won the last game. If they have like a stomp here, they catch our familiar. Okay. Ah, oh, that's actually really bad for us. Well, there goes the engine. Land. Land. So my feeling is they have fires and they have underworld or uh, drawn from dreams here. Um, they'll play those out and they'll take two more damage plus the two there. Oh, they just drawn from dreams. Okay.
Like, this just may kill them. I wouldn't even mind the cat just dying because I can bring it back. Oh, we've done exactly what we wanted to. So I'm going to lead a Yara here. It's got a bit more upside if it lives, just because it can drain. And this I kind of want to play out when we have a board state. Dreams has been really nice. Like the opponent hasn't really done much this game. And they're just taking damage. Okay, they look at the top card of our library. Congrats. I gotta pick up a stack of these just for EDH as well. So it's like a $5 card I think at one point. Printed as uncommon. Probably be a heavy print run, but it's just a good group hug deck or cards uh, like incidental damage. All right, what's your target? Opponents trying to decide what they want to get rid of. We've done this with a pretty mediocre draw. Sure. You have a guard mage. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gray merchant eights them right now. So if we get lands, we're going merchant hunting. So just pass the turn here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Depending what the opponent plays out. So I didn't attack, there's no point, but also keeping this up lets us sack the Midnight Reaper. Uh, to draw a card. And then I could sack a Yara if they have something like a board wipe. But mind you, if they play a board wipe, then I'm just going to let it go through, draw two cards. Or draw, sack this and then draw from there. Opponent is playing very slow, and we also disconnected. Sure. Actually, if we sack with a Yara, we draw two. Planar Cleansing. Um, sure, draw two. Erebos is nice. I really wish we hit a fourth land. Um, I can keep eating away. Kind of want to hold Erebos. Just play this out. If they have a board wipe, it deals with this. Nothing really has a good ETB here. I guess we drew kind of well initially off keeping a one lander. This is going to be killed on spot. Land, 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 land. We do need to kill this. care too much about Chandra. It needs a couple turns to really get going here. That's actually pretty good. I just want to get him in a range where, like, 
they're incentivized to probably down to click on Deathless Knight, also for the exile effect. So if I could get them in a range where I can um, clear their board, or just like Grey Merchant them up. Because they'd have to down tick this turn on Deathless Knight. Oh, they don't. Do they have another removal spell? I mean, like, we six them with Grey Merchant. Land. Yep. So I'm doing this because the drain is worth more. And then I can Deathless Knight. Quench. What? What is this deck? <sighs> Who saw playing around Quench in this pile? Gonna do a setup turn here. Yeah, it's just weird. Like a fire of invention with counterspell, quench, quench of all counter spells, like maybe mystical dispute. Like, there's a lot of cards that don't make sense in this deck. Do they maybe like if this was game one and they were playing this, it would kind of make sense. But we saw fire cavaliers. Did they take those out? I may want Knight of Eben Legion back in on the draw, just to have another aggressive threat. It's for a turn. Okay, so they do have fires. So they kept counter spells and fires in their deck. It's fine, it one for ones, draws us a card. Okay, so draw land would be ideal. Oven does not achieve what we want it to. So that puts us up to five. They don't kill Murderous Rider. I can gain two life off it attacking and then four life off Grey Merchant, which buys us another turn. That's fine. I wonder if they sweep here. Yeah, they got us. Opponent's got a brew. Opponent has got a brew. Um, so let's bring the knights in. Cut the Tyramet. Cut the Yara. Cut the drag from the Underworld. Like the creatures I'm not as worried on because like we can trade well. I think we just need to survive. They've shown planar outburst or planar cleansing. I just keep this. Not as aggressive as I'd want it, but we have agonizing remorse on two. 
And then double castle should draw us cards. I'd rather be land heavy this game than land light. Seems like the opponent's going to Narset emergency powers us. Hmm. So we get a turn of Midnight Reaper at least before Teferi comes down. Actually, so let's Fenlurker this turn because they're going to not really want to bounce this with the uh, Teferi. So they may uptick. Uh, I'm gonna do a swipe. I don't think it matters much. Would also like to stop drawing lands so these castles don't hurt as much. Like they could Teferi bounce oven, but we just kill Teferi, doesn't see much value. Banishing Light. What do you want to banish? That's fine. Here, either way, they're missing red mana, so they can't sweep. Teferi can bounce the Midnight Reaper, but Fenlurker kills it. Kill there. I want to get Erebos going because they'll likely hold up this uh, Ashiox Erisher this turn. It does the same job that Fenlurker does or uh, that Midnight Reaper does. I can also just start sacking my creatures to draw a bunch of new cards. Come on, opponent. Come on, opponent. Top, bottom. Just pass the turn here. So we haven't put too much damage on them, but we've kind of disrupted their hand pretty well. They could have a Fires this turn, this is their first red mana. But they've also missed land drops, yeah. So I'm gonna sack here the Fenlurker and then draw two cards. We will lose three life, but it is the Black Mage's way. Pay life, draw cards. Greatness at any cost, as Dark Confidence states. So for those of you tuning in, this is part of a budget build series that we do on the channel. This is the mid-budget version of Mono Black. If you want to catch the 10 rare uh, budget version, that's up on YouTube right now. Um, and then I do have the video already, uh, one iteration of the non-budget that we played during the early streamer event, um, but I'll do another feature with that. But you can catch all those lists now online. So Fenlurker's done what it needs to do. Um, do we just want to gain the life? I mean, probably. It's just efficient for our mana. This turns on Erebos as well. Hit him for a bunch, pass the turn. 
So now they got to deal with a bunch of stuff. Like, if they have a second planar outburst, it's pretty gross. But, like, we still draw two cards off that. And then with Erebos's trigger, we may also draw a card. Well, this is indestructible, so it doesn't get caught by the planar outburst. I wouldn't play more than one of these. I wasn't crazy impressed with it. Unless you're playing like dedicated flash that you're never tapping out. But opponents have fires deck playing this, which seems very odd. You have to catch the spell on the stack. Time wipe. Sure. So I actually screwed that up. Uh, I should have drawn first, so we're taking a couple extra points of damage. Hello, Gary. How are you? How are you, Gary? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yeah. I wanted to try it out. It would seem great if you can hit like Anissa under it, but otherwise it's a kind of lackluster. All right, so took down this Jeskai variant. Not too bad in the end. Clarion seems to be a bit of an issue, but this deck seemed a lot better against that matchup best of three when we could bring in some kind of control, like anti-control cards. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. I'm gonna get the video up on YouTube for tomorrow, and then I'll have a full write-up uh, detailing everything on Aetherhub uh, this weekend we're getting a huge snowstorm up here so just gonna be producing content so if you have any cool decks do let me know in the chat on youtube uh and we can go from there thanks for watching everyone and have a great one